Hi, right, once again, I wanted to go through uh, and do some practice problems here with you. Um, we just finished doing the video on ionic compounds and I thought that it might be a good idea to do a couple of practices with you um, to go through so you can actually see exactly how we put together these compounds. And um, today I'm going to look at, or not today, but in this video, we're going to look at, um, again, ionic compounds, just like the title says, formula to name. Uh, it's actually, this is the, the easiest way to go because we don't have to worry about balancing any kind of a charge. We're just going to go in, in, the ca in the chemical formula itself. It should already be balanced. Um, so the, the name of it is actually going from formula to the name is, is the easiest of the two processes. So I have here um, a few different problems that we're going to go through. So the very first one is magnesium uh, is MGS. So what I need to do is on my periodic table of ions, I'm going to find magnesium. Magnesium is over here. I'm going to look for S, that is sulfide. And the simplest thing to do, we don't name with our uh, cation. I know that that's magnesium ion on its own, but we drop that. And we're just going to name this magnesium sulfide. Very simple. That's the first one. Okay. So let's take a look at the second one. Uh, again, here's our second one, KBR. K, we're going to look for and find. K is right over here. That's potassium, and BR is over here. Okay, And quite often, this is a, a common one where we have an alkali metal that is going to bond with a halogen. They form salts. And um, so we're going to look at, I'm just going to write this down, potassium bromide. Okay, potassium bromide. Very simple, easy to do. Let's move on to our third one, Ba3N2. So when, when we go from the formula to the name, I'm going to disregard these ones right now. Okay, the charge is on these. Uh, when we get to multivalent charges, uh, we'll go through a few of those examples and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But for now, we can absolutely disregard the 3 and the 2 here. So let's find here, we have Ba is barium. And go over here, and we're going to find nitride, right, or nitrogen. Okay, so then we just write this down. Barium nitride. Very simple, okay? And let's go to our last one. AlO2, aluminum is right here in the middle. And O we know is for oxygen. So this is aluminum, aluminum. I'm gonna spell that again. Okay, sorry, uh, aluminum. Oxide, and we always write the name of the anion uh, as it's found on the periodic table. Okay, so this is again how to go from formula to name. It's the easiest way to go. Uh, in our next video, we're going to look at uh, how to go from name to formula. Again, this is just practice, like I've said before. Uh, take a look, do as many as you can. It's just repetition, just like very, very basic, simple math, just repetition and familiarity with the periodic table.